It's a cherry. It's not a cherry. Every one of them on this bush that Eli's got, that is so ready. Did you try it? Yeah. Is it good? All you do it. I don't like the oh my goodness, you guys are wasting it. All of it in your mouth. There you go. And then kind of chew on it a little bit. And then you feel the seed. Spit the seed out only. There you go. You did it. Yum. First I need it. Mm, yum. Is that good? We're going to pick them and put them in the bucket, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes. So a little difference in scenery. We are picking sand plums this morning. We found some in the pasture, ready to go. Not all of them are ready to go, but there are quite a few out here. Sand plums grow crazy here in Northwest Oklahoma. It, this is a pasture beside our house, but they also can be found in almost any bar ditch around here. Sand plums have a skin that is tart, but inside is sweet, like a cross between a cherry and a plum, if you can imagine that. The redder they are, the sweeter they're going to be. They are rich in vitamin A, and they grow only to about the size of a quarter, or at least that's just how big I've seen them. So you need quite a few of them to make jelly. I'm telling you guys, plum jelly is amazing. It's my family's favorite, and there is nothing better, they say. These are not bad sized either. These are nice. There's not even any like blemishes or holes in them from worms. This. Yeah, all of those. Yeah. I see, Ella will hold my race car. Yeah, Ella can hold the race car. I don't like the pokey things. Yeah, pokey things hurt. Yeah. And it mm -hmm. might move bead, right? Yeah. That is a big, juicy sand plum right there. Let's see who won. I have a thing. See those good. Oh, those are good ones. Huh? There's oh. not even holes in there, Amelia. Juicy. Wow. Yum. Those are big, too. Oh. What? They're squishy. It's squishy? Is that a good one to eat? Yeah. Try it. Yeah? So good. It takes a while to get a bucket full, so sometimes wow. a little mild competition is totally encouraged to make the time go faster. <laughs> oh, Amelia. Oh, you got a sticker in your shoe. You got a sticker in your shoe, Amelia. Bye, Ella J. Ella Jo wasn't having it anymore, so Amelia took her to the car so we could try to finish this five-gallon bucket. No. We're almost there. We're almost there. I think after we get this bush that bush and that bush will be pretty much at three quarter of the way right like zeke these are good ones what are you doing oh <laughs> what do you think we're doing what do you think we're doing picking sand cones yeah yeah I'm not smashing them yeah why yeah, I got one that those. Uh-oh, Black Widow. I am sweating so bad. When we're out here um, picking these sand plums, we have to be very careful about where our feet are and sometimes where our hands are. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's right there. Yep, big old Black Widow. We gotta be really careful about where we put our hands out here. Can we go home? <laughs> you gonna go home? Okay. Nope. Trick shot. Trick shot. Ah! Oh! Final one. Trick shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, the family's done. They've had it. I don't know if you can hear her, but Ella J's not happy anymore. So that means we're calling it a morning. <laughs> So 
So I was contemplating on going back out and finding some more sand plums this evening and my voice is not working. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's not working very well. Um, but it's just nine o'clock. Yeah, it's nine o'clock and it's still like 95 degrees. And so I'm like, you know what? I'll just find a different day to go out and get sand plums. So now it's about time that we're supposed to be milking goats, doing all the things, shutting up chickens. Um, and so we're just going to call it a night. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.